guys, I'm Kimberly from Fat Quarter Shop, and today I'm going to show you some fabrics that Kevin and I recently bought. I'm going to be showing you Moda, Riley Blake, Free Spirit, Marcus Brothers, and a couple of other vendors like Henry Glass and Studio E. And I'm just going to kind of show you what we look at as a store and talk a little bit about the fabrics, when they ship, and kind of what I'll be planning to do with them in 2023, because all of these ship in 2023. So recently when Moda came and our sales rep came, she had two catalogs. We're going to start with the um, holiday one, which would include Christmas and Halloween and fall. So the first group in the book is Christmas Eve by Layla Boutique. And you can see this catalog on Moda Fabrics website. And um, this is a cute little vignette about Vanessa and her um, son and daughter. And right here you will see her new patterns. And they're available at FatQuarterShop.com right now in paper and PDF. This is Good Tidings, Forever Plaid, Jolly Holiday, Dashing, St. Nick, and Reindeer Crossing. Now this pillow I wanted to point out uses mini charm packs and this is going to be a free pattern on Moda Fabrics uh, website or actually it's going to be a project sheet sorry it's going to be a project sheet so it'll be like a really low price pattern and it has really cool quilting if you want to see the detail on that follow um, Layla Boutique on Instagram we are pre-selling this collection and I wanted to pop up real quick the Jolly Holiday Quilt Kit this kit will be 77 inches square and this fabric collection ships in May and we're gonna have a sew along with this. This is a Moda pre-packaged kit, and so Moda packages it. It is a Jelly Roll friendly kit, and with this, I will figure out a way to do a sew along where like one week we do the Santa, one week we do the leaves, one week we do the gifts, and stuff like that. So that's gonna be really fun. I'm looking forward to making it. And then here is an overview of the collection. And this is the panel. The panel comes pre-packaged just like this. It's 58 by 73. And if you want to see it quilted, um, if you go to Layla Boutique's uh, Instagram, she has it where it's bound and quilted. I'm definitely going to making be making this because it has my name. So I will be keeping this panel. And I'm probably going to put a stripe on the, on, the, on the edge. I'll show you what my plans are. And uh, this is a d Designs by Lavender and Lime pat pattern, and she put the panel on the back. And here's an overview of the collection, and like I said, it ships in May. We will be having a Jolly Bar with this collection. A Jolly Bar are five by 10 inch rectangles, and this will be the kit for the Jolly Bar. It's called Wonderful Time, and it is 60 inches by 60 inches. We will also have another kit called To All A Good Night. It's a tree skirt and it will be a low price PDF pattern. And we're gonna have a video where we show you how to piece it and how you cut the center and cut on the diagonal to create a tree skirt before you quilt it or after you quilt it. That's gonna be a lot of fun to learn that. And so again, this is a 58 by 73 inch panel and I'm gonna show you the fabrics. So I'm gonna just kind of flip through. And this right here is a white on white dot. So it's the same as this. It's just a white on white. And I love, I always love her dots. They're red and green. And then she's got little wreaths, twigs, stripes. Now this is what I think I'm gonna put on my panel. I think what I'm gonna do is put this green on the panel so that it kind of um, stops it. So that's what I'm gonna order for that. Fa la la. And then this is a really pretty plaid. And I think I'm gonna put the plaid on the back. So I'm gonna put the plaid, let's see, I'm gonna put 51, 85, 11 on the back. 
and 5186.11 on the um, binding, I think. So that's white, and it is pretty white. It's not cream, it's definitely white, and then there's a gray. Now this collection goes really well with the previous Christmas collection that Layla Boutique did a couple of years ago. And on the grays, there's a light gray, and then a dark gray. And again, this is Christmas Eve by Layla Boutique. Really pretty. And the colors on this do go with the previous collection. I can't think of the name of that collection off the top of my head, but I bet it will come to me in a second. And the reason I'm not gonna put the red on the red on red is I just think it's gonna clash. This is a great background. So we are pre-selling the Jolly Holiday Quilt Kit for that sew along. And we are pre-selling the pre-cuts on this collection. And again, this one also has a lighter green and a darker green. So even though there are really only four colors, you know, green, red, gray, and white, there are different shades of the gray and the green which adds some dimension. So again, this is Christmas Eve by Layla Boutique and it ships in May. And on these, I'm gonna to try to tell you what I have planned for them at Back Quarter Shop, just so you know. And so, like I said, this one we, I'm gonna have the panel um, just quilted. I'm just gonna send it to a long arm quilter and then I'm gonna do the Jolly Holiday as a quilt along at Back Quarter Shop. The next group is called Sugar Berry. It ships in April, and this is by Bunny Hill Designs. She has a Christmas morning pattern. Winter Blessings, it is a mini charm pack friendly, and it does have applique. Crystal, which is a cute little swan. Sugar Cubes, Sugar Crystals, and then this is the Wendy Shepherd pattern called Just Add Shortcake. Now, Anne's big pattern is called Sugarberry Christmas. It will be available as a Moda prepackaged quilt kit and as a block of the month pattern. And it is 68 by 68. We also have a Jolly Bar with this one called With Love. That's 56 by 56. Very, very easy. And just as like a little hint, this collection will be the collection we're going to feature in our next Sew Sampler recipe quilt starting in April, May 2023. So that's kind of a um, preview of that. And I love this collection. It is so, I just love it. I love that it could be Christmas or Valentine's or just home deck. Now this is a plaid. And this is definitely reading cream, not white. And it's definitely cream, red, pink. I love the stripe. And so this right here is the same print as this. So this is cap set one. This is a smaller collection. Pinks and reds. And it really matches well with her previous collection called, I think it was the Flower Farm. It blends really well. I mean, I haven't put them right next to each other, but I worked with that fabric. I sewed a quilt out of it, so I'm pretty sure. And then this is kind of a gray, grayish. Got a little bit of brown, a little bit of gray, more gray. And again, this one has two shades of gray. So you've got like the lighter and then a little bit darker. And these are great bindings, this fabric right here. And this is like little squares kind of scattered. So really pretty. So this one has several quilt kits. If you love applique, you probably love this. You're probably really familiar with uh, Bunny Hill Designs and Ann Sutton. Again, April Delivery Sugarberry. The next collection is by Fancy That House Designs, 
and it's called, or actually Fancy That Design House. The collection is Good News, Great Joy. Stephanie Slowinski is the designer of that. And with this, there is gonna be one Moda quilt kit called Christmas Chapel. It's 62 inches square. And when you look at that, the body of the church is the panel. So it does have piecing, but part of it is cheater with the panel. So you'll see that panel in a little bit. And she has some new patterns. There is a pillow pattern for 21 inch pillows. There is Good News, Great Joy, Fat Eight Friendly pattern. And then um, this is from Designs and Lavender Limes Christmas Trio. And then here is the panel. I am gonna show it to you in person, but here you can really see it. Glory to God, peace on earth and goodwill, good news, great joy for all, a thrill of hope, a merry world rejoices, come let us adore him, Christ the Lord. And then, so this is the panel. I didn't wanna confuse you, these are the tea towels. So these will be sold um, separately. They usually come before the fabric. And then here is part of the fabric and then the remainder of the fabric. So this one has a lot of colors. And I don't have anything planned for this one yet, but I do love the colors. So it's got poinsettias. Uh, this is kind of a star, star background. It's this print, just in cream. And this one is definitely more cream. Angels and cardinals and doves. Pine cones. This is really cute christmas trees and a plaid i love the plaids and all of the collections um, that you're about to see from moda and then this is aqua and it's a little bit minty once you get into here it's aqua but you know has a little tone of mint So you guys can comment and let me know what you think you would make with this one. I love that it has so many colors. And again, different shades. There's red and then burgundy. And this one ships in May 2023. So now you can really see the difference. And then the greens, same thing lighter, darker. And then the black. This is definitely uh, black, black. Um, it's definitely not navy at all, and it does have a hint of aqua. really pretty so that is good news great joy I'm gonna show you the panel now so this one is 23 inches wide and you can read them the blocks are approximately 12 inches square so you could technically make six pillows if you wanted to. You could do um, you could do the design that's in here that Stephanie designed, which are different trees, or you can just put the panel in the center. And then at the bottom, there are four ornaments. So really, really pretty. The next collection is called Reindeer Games by Barb and Mary of Me and My Sister Designs. It will ship in May. And this one's really fun. It's a lot of really big prints. There is a Jolly Bar pattern called Holiday Treats. It's 62 by 76. And I love that it has the row effect to it. And in here, there is an antler quilt designs called Peppermint Swirl. And they show um, 
Doug colored it to show you the reindeer games in one of uh, his table runners called Brighton from his book, Table Tastic 3. And then there are two quilts shown colored in the Jelly Roll Jam book by me and my sister designs. And here's the collection. It's, it's you know, red, white, and green. And very um, graphic and really fun. I think this would make cute Christmas sheets or Christmas pajamas because everything is so big. So reindeers. And then this one is, um, this print right here is the same as this, but just white on white. So you can see the little reindeers cute little plaid and i love that the colors are just very simple but this would make great pajamas great pillowcases um just really fun and very retro but i i love this one and so here's the red so i definitely would make sheets for my bed if i knew how but definitely not going to attempt that. And then the green. So loving the colors in this, loving that it's very, you know, simple, basic, true colors. Sometimes the simpler, the better, I think, for Christmas. And this is a great uh, polka dot, great polka dot. I wish that this print right here was the polka dot instead of this print. So that is Reindeer Games, Me and My Sister Designs, May 2023 delivery. The next group is called Jolly Good by Basic Gray, ships in May. There is a Baubles and Stars pattern, shiny and bright, tis the season, and then the stockings were hung. And this is the collection overall. Again, it has got a lot of colors and a lot of backgrounds. So this one is May. I don't have any kits planned with this one. And Basic Gray, I will tell you, is one of our top Christmas groups every year. Um, every year, they're different. And they always sell well. And they don't always mix and match. So this is the same print as this. Um, but they always sell really well. And I think it's because they're so versatile. You can do a lot with them. Now this one, when I saw it, I was like, I'm not really sure... Um, that would make a great stack and whack or, um, but it, it might be a little bit harder to use. This one's really fun. It's like a flower and then a great stripe. Again, ships in May. And this is my favorite print right here. The little stockings and candies. And then this one I would say is also aqua. But it's not bright aqua. It's more of a muted aqua. But I am interested to see what people do with this. Um, there's my print that I love. And then reds. And again, this one also does have burgundy. Burgundy might not be the correct name. Um, but to me, it's definitely, I mean, that's definitely like it's a rich red. I guess it's not burgundy, it's more of a rich red. And then the greens have a mix of dark, medium, and light. So very dark, lighter, medium. So this one has a lot of versatility to it. And I think it would make a cute jelly roll quilt. And so, like I said, in this, this is their holiday book. So that would mean Christmas, and then now we're gonna move to fall and Halloween. This next one, I, I wanna make something with it because I love it. This is Rustic Gatherings by Primitive Gatherings. Lisa Bonjean is the designer. It ships in May. Um, this right here is a summary of what will be in the brand new book called Rustic Gatherings. The book usually comes out right before or right after the fabric ships. So lots of different um, quilts. Um, they are pretty, they do look pretty hard. Um, Lisa Bonjean loves to do hard quilts with a lot of piecing. And this is an overview of it and I love it. I will tell you 
that, that's what I would do. I would take the black out if I make something, but I haven't figured out what I can make yet. But I love this right here. This definitely is going to go in my low volume quilt. Um, these are polka dots with the orange and the black. So it's kind of like a burnt orange, basically. And this is orange and black, black and gray stripe, kind of like a shirting print. And then I think she's done this in other colors before. And I would say it's um, not white, not cream. It's kind of in between. I, more cream than white, definitely. And then here you've got the gold and the burnt orange. And I love that this one is different. You know, it's a mix of colors. It's not the traditional colors, um, but it's just, I think Kevin would like something out of this. So there's your oranges and golds, and then your grays. There's a light and a dark gray. And everything throughout does have a touch of black to it. So it's kind of surprising that I love this one so much just because I'm not like a fan. I don't usually sew with black, but I love this one. And then this, the black actually is, this is a true black and this is more of a muted black. So it's definitely not gray and this is a polka dot. But I am looking forward to her book. Maybe we can do a trunk show of her book on our channel. So that's kind of the, the first fall group. The second fall group is called Harvest Wishes by Deb Strain. It ships in April. And we will have an It's So Emma pattern called Autumn Skies. And the size that we're showing here and kidding is 64 inches square. And it's a way um, kind of we cut up all the prints to make it a little bit more modern. Now with this one, Coach House Designs has a couple of different patterns. Um, one really uses, uh, is a great use of the panel. And I'm gonna show you that, the panel in a little bit. This one ships in April, and this is probably uh, one of my favorites. I am gonna tell you guys my favorites if I remember at the end of the each collection, um, but this one has a lot of low volume, and it's got a navy, and there are two panels. One is white, one is navy, and like I said, there's a panel here, and then this can be used as like a top or bottom or even you could just see how she put it at the top here and then pieced pumpkins. You could just do that as a table runner in your house. You could just quilt that. So again, Harvest Wishes, Deb Strain, and these are so cute. So I would say orange, mint, denim-ish, really pretty, and this has a touch of yellow to it. Really pretty, this is a wood grain. And this has several checks throughout. And then this says pumpkin kisses, harvest wishes. I love fall most of all. And then the next color is, I'm seeing a lot of aqua, aqua mint. And I like this one, it kind of reminds me of Hobby Lobby. It's very on trend with colors. And I think you could make some really cute patterns with this, with these um, ginghams. Cute pumpkins with this, I mean. And so here's the blue. It's not navy. Um, it's kind of like a brighter blue. And then these are little baby, baby pumpkins. Okay, and then the panels, I'm gonna show you both panels. 
And like I said, this is actually the cream. It's not gray, it's reading gray because the blue's behind it. I'm gonna show you the blue and then I'm gonna show you the white separately so that they don't distort each other. So again, pumpkin kisses, harvest wishes. Oh my gosh, so cute. I might have to just make something with this. And then it says, I love fall most of all. And then I'm gonna move this one so that you see it. See, it's really white. When you have that navy on it, it looked gray. So I do think this is gonna be very, very popular, this panel. And like I said, the colors are really on trend. So those are the two fall groups. Now we have two Christmas groups. The next group is Halloween by Urban Chicks, May Delivery. There will be a Moda quilt kit using the panel. It's called I'll Be Seeing You. And so that whole center section you'll see is the panel. And then the outside is a Peace Stars and Peace Flying Geese. And that will be a Moda boxed kit. And there will be, um, there's two Wendy Shepherd patterns that are older that were colored in this group. But this is so cute. It's got purple, orange, green, um, black. It's got all the colors. Really fun. Uh, the panel is a bigger panel. It's 36 by 44. And all of the Urban Chicks Christmas and Halloween groups do sell really well. So an owl, and then you can see this is like gray and orange. These are tiny pumpkins, spiders, and then little ghosts with moons and pumpkins, more pumpkins. This is cute, it's like little candies, like um, candy corn, sweet tarts, more spiders, and then this is a star. This one ships in May. And then here is kind of a mix of oranges, and this kind of gets a little peachy here, but I think it's really good. Like these two are different colors, but it really mixes. And this is really cute. I think the, this is gonna be great for backings. This print and this print are gonna be the best selling because they're gonna be great for backings. And anything that people use for backings is a very good seller because People buy it in bigger pieces. Now here is a purple. I would say it's kind of got a little bit of lavender to it. And here's that owl on the broomstick. Pumpkins, spiders, and there's even little white spiders. And then the panel, like I said, is really big. It's 36 by 44. So it's got stars. The only thing I would say is it doesn't have a lot of room right here, so you're just gonna have to be careful trimming it down and not cutting it into the circle. And so this owl is on a little broom, big broom. So let me know what you think of this. I think it's very cute. And it does match well with the Urban Chicks previous groups. And then this last one is the last one from the holiday catalog. It's called Spellbound by Sweetfire Road. Ships in May. There's a couple of patterns. And then this is how the group looks overall. And you'll notice all of these collections have a lot of low volume. So this one is um, different, but a similar vibe to Rustic Gatherings. Um, I don't think they would match together, but just similar. So this is um, like cats, candlesticks, hats. This one is the same as this print, just on white. Moons, pumpkins, stars, stripes. These are little flowers, like little dainty flowers. This is, I think, an owl scroll. Not sure. Pumpkins and a multi-stripe. And you'll see this group is more of a burnt orange. So really cute. I think this will be popular too. 
And so that's going to be our first catalog. And I'm going to show you which ones are my favorite from that catalog. And then I'd love for you guys to comment and let me know which one's your favorite. And always, you know, on our site, if you want to pre-buy it, you pre-buy it. And if you want to click to be notified, click. Um, Kevin does use those numbers to adjust orders. So the more interest we get, um, we will adjust our orders up or down. So from this catalog, my favorite is definitely this one, uh, which is Christmas morning. And then my second favorite would be Sugarberry. So the first two in the catalog. And I'm excited about making the Jolly Holiday. I'm thinking about making this, but changing that black to something else. And then my second favorite is Sugarberry, which is the red and white, or red and cream. And then we're gonna go to our second catalog, which you can also, so sorry. Uh, second catalog you can also find on Moda Fabrics website and this one on the cover you'll see Flower Power by Maureen McCormick. So Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Um, she is back with another collection and she does have one Moda quilt kit. It is called Come On Get Happy and it's 50 by 66 and it is designed by SQC. I can't think of the name of that right now. Um, so you have to look on our site and then there's some other patterns and then this is the collection overall we did put together a really cute i love this the layer cake loop that's going to be a free shortcut pattern in 2023 it's 48 by 48 and it's a great way to use up a layer cake that has a lot of busyness and very little background so that's going to be a great pattern that i think is going to work with all kinds of layer cakes and it's going to be great because it's a free pattern so this group has um, some similarity to her first group. This is definitely 60s-ish, uh, hot pinks. I think this is gonna be great on backing. This is like little, ch it's checks, you can't tell, but it's a kind of a grid line. This is my favorite, this pink. And then the next cap set these are called cap sets, by the way, and I am going to do a fun video um, showing what you can do with these leftovers. And this one is the same print as this, and this is definitely white. Fun backing. And this is um, kind of medium fun orange. And then the next part, there's a lot of green, so it, it ranges from kind of like a hot green to an olive to a bright. And this has a tad bit of yellow to it, a yellow green. And then this is more of an olive green. And then when you get down here, it's this is 1970s green is what this is. Um, and then this one's really fun because it's got a lot of colors to it. And then the last cap set is um, blues aquas. So um, it's a, she does a great job of mixing the colors between, like this has got pink and blue, intermixing the colors. And you can follow her on Instagram and she, um, she definitely sews and so she'll show what she makes with this. So that is Flower Power Marine McCormick ships in March, 2023. The next group is one of y'all's favorite designers, Robin Pickens. It's called Wild Blossoms. It ships in March and it is very wildflower and very watercolor-ish. So seeing it in person is gonna really help you um, get a feel for it. But definitely has a watercolor feel and there are a lot of colors. So this would actually look great with that layer cake pattern that I just showed you. And this has um, different flowers and lots of bees. And this one's beautiful. It's got um, kind of the, that flower that, dandelion. That flower that dances and shoots stuff in the air and makes me have allergies, that, that flower. So this is definitely yellows, greens, lots of colors. And 
it's got the detail of the painting. And then the next cap set is like oranges, reds. And I would say out of all the collection, this one has the most brightness to it. And it does have the most color ranges to it. So some people like, you know, a lot of colors to mix and match because this even gets into purple here. So you've got orange, red, and purple all on one cap set. This one is really cute. It's the same as this one with the little jars. There's the little bees. And then this is definitely blue. And that's really pretty. It's probably the prettiest one. Now this next print I'm gonna show you is going to be running yardage. And it's kind of, a summary of what I just showed you. So it goes all the way from like yellows, it does the whole rainbow. So this is the salvage right here. So if you bought it, you know, you could just make a table runner if you wanted to, but you could cut it this way or this way, but it's gonna be sold by the yard and there are big bumblebees throughout. So definitely not a panel, but definitely a mix of the fabrics you just saw. Now this next one, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is Fruit Cocktail by Fig Tree Quilts. And this one has a lot coming with it. So this is a Tisket a Tasket and Fruit Basket. Those are existing patterns that you can order now at Back Quarter Shop. She just colored those newer patterns in this collection that ships in March. There is going to be a set of three journals and they're just really small little journals. And then she's gonna have a new book. That new book is going to come out in January and it's got all of these quilts in it. And so it's got pineapples, apples, oranges, cherries, lemons, pears, and blueberries. And we do have something planned with her. We're in the works working on that, some type of sew along that we host at Fat Quarter Shop. We are also going to have a Jolly Bar the Jolly Bar Quilt Kit is called Parfait, and it is 60 by 84. And here's an overall look at the collection. And she does these collections with these uh, brighter colors every like three years, I would say. And this is definitely um, one of my favorites. So I'm definitely, whatever sew along we do, I will be participating. Excuse me. And so um, we've got pears and cherries. And then this right here, these are gonna be your two backgrounds because I've already researched this because I'm already working on coloring something. So this is brown and this is a blue. I'm hoping to do blue and um, what we're working on. We're working on a triangles on a roll quilt along for 2023. It will be a free pattern. You'll obviously need to buy some triangles on a roll, but this is gonna be my background for that because I love, blue and this is really vintage and really pretty it make pretty sheets and then this is a print she's done um, several times she's printed it several times in different colors and then this is um, I would say it's kind of like a porcelain porcelain type color it's not white it's not cream and then here's your true reds you know your fig tree reds they're always um, the same well, I don't want to say always the same, but you know, they're always, you can always mix and match them. And then that would make a beautiful quilt um, all on its own. And in fact, I'm going to save some of these reds for an upcoming sew along we're going to be doing in the summer. Here's some peaches, stripe, and then that print. And then this is a new color. She's added that green in the inside of this. She hasn't done that color before. And then her yellows. So again, fruit, so cute. And then um, more and more colors. So you will see in this range of Moda, there are just a lot of colors, which um, gives you a lot of versatility when you are picking because you have more colors. And if there's too many colors, you just take the colors you don't like out. Um, love this one. And this one. And then more blue. 
So she's got three ranges of blue. She's got aqua, medium, and then darker. But this is going to be really fun. Um, I think she's got a lot planned with this. And I will definitely be making a couple of quilts out of this. So this one, I can go ahead and tell you from this catalog, this is my favorite. So I don't have to tell you at the end and I don't have to remember. So this is definitely my favorite. And I would, the reason I like it is the colors are true. I like um, true colors. Now it'll be hard for me to use these type of prints that are medium. Like I'll probably take any, this is probably what I'll use right here. I'll take the mediums out just because I never know how to use those prints. The next collection, oh my gosh, we have so much planned with it. And I know you've already seen it on this channel because we did an awesome trunk show with Camille Ross Kelly. If you haven't checked that video out, you definitely want to because it's going to inspire you. When I watched that video, it actually inspired me to um, come up with several uh, quilt alongs in 2023 using her older patterns that are like several years old. So this is Sunnyside by Camille Ross Kelly. Ships in April. And she has colored Spoon 16, and she has some new patterns. This is Rosemary Flea Market, and this is a pieced pattern. It is not English paper pieced. Snowbird in both white and blue, and Threadbare. Now, Threadbare, I will be collecting um, squares that are five and a half inches to make this as a video for you guys um, to talk about color placement in 2023. So here's the collection overall. I wanted to show you that this is going to be our featured collection for our 2023 Designer Mystery Block of the Month. You can sign up for either blocks, finishing kit, or backing set to make all three. You do need all three. Um, if you wanna just make the blocks, they do finish at 12 inches and you can pick your own finishing um, if you would like to. We also have a pattern called More or Less Jolly Bar. That's 52 by 68, and um, it's a really easy, fun uh, quilt. Very, very easy and uses a lot of the colors. Now, when you look at this, you're gonna also notice a lot of colors, a lot of different uh, color changes. This one is my second favorite from the book. It reminds me of 1986. Uh, so this is a beautiful, this would make a beautiful backing. This is a print she's done before on white on white. It's this uh, diagonal print. And a lot of these are just beautiful. Um, this is the backing for Designer Mystery. And then to give you a hint for the finishing, this is one of the fabrics in the finishing. So kind of that country blue. And then, um, Here's some oranges, and the oranges have some pinks. So this one, I'll definitely be sewing a lot from it. We're gonna have a lot of kits, and Designer Mystery is always, we always pick our favorite for Designer Mystery. And this, I love that it has the peach mixed with the pink, and this is a great stripe. And again, a big range of colors. And this is more of a burgundy. And then here's a mix of greens. Second hint, this is also part of the Designer Mystery finishing. And then here you go from like a sage green blue to a strong green. And I think this one's really pretty. I don't even like green and I like this print. It's funny because I always say I don't like green, but then there's green everywhere and the stuff that I do. And then the best part of the collection, I think, is this blue. And these right here, all of these blues, mix well with Dwell and Nantucket Summer, if you have any of that. This is so pretty. So again, Sunnyside by Camille Ross Kelly, and I do wanna show you just the blues. If you wanted to just use the blues, we're gonna put together a bundle 
today of just these to sell just in case you aren't a fan of all of the additional colors. Now, obviously, it'll still have pink in it, but it'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eighteen pieces. And so you could, if you want to mix and match with those other two collections I mentioned, this would be great. This next collection is called Florence's Fancy. The designer is Betsy Chuchin. Ships in April, and she um, she has a new pattern called Bayside Breeze and Plain and Fancy and Doctor's Wife. This one looks really hard. And Betsy's fabrics, this one is based on fabrics from 1860 to 1900s. She actually is a reproduction designer, so these are actually based on real reproduction fabrics. And I will tell you that her fabrics sell um, really well for us. And I think it's because, first, they're beautiful, but second, a lot of fabric companies have moved away from producing reproductions that are actually reproductions. So um, people like that these are actually reproduction fabrics. So this is a true yellow, brown, check, and again, a variation of brown colors. And she always has a print similar to this to use for great borders or backings. So you've got red and purple. Again, ships in April. And then we've got a blue, lighter at the top, darker at the bottom. These are fleur-de-lis, there's that big print. And then she does have a, a black, and it is a true black. So it's not washed at all, it's definitely like a black. When I say washed, I just mean like kind of lighter. But this is definitely black with red and green and gray. So that is Florence's Fancy by Betsy Chuchin. This next collection, I didn't realize until I saw it how much it looked like flea market from years and years ago. So we designed a pattern called Luminaries. It will be an Itsuema pattern and a quilt kit that's 54 by 75. This group ships in March 2023. And this is the collection. It looks like Paris, it looks like flea market from years and years ago. And I'm gonna actually show you that quilt after I show you the fabric, but we are re-kitting that. It, it's a 59 by 73. It's one of our very first Itsuima patterns. So this is a beautiful collection. It's got the soft white, And Flea Market was one of the very first collections that Three Sisters designed when I first started. And then they redid it. So this is probably like the third variation of that. So pinks and a really soft pink red. But I'm going to show you something that I just think is amazing. It actually hangs at the office. So it was a great way to show how older fabrics mix with newer fabrics. And this would be light blue. Again, this is called Bliss. Three Sisters. And then the last cap set are grays, ranging from light to dark. There's little butterflies. So this quilt hangs in our office and has for years and years because this was one of our very first It's So Emma patterns. And when I saw this fabric in person, I thought, you know, we should recolor. Now it's a little bit faded because it's um, been hanging by the sun, 
but we're going to recolor it and you can see the image there and this is going to be kind of the star point so it will be much softer version of it but we are taking an older pattern and re-sewing it and so um, i still love this pantograph so i just think um you know it's it looks the same it is different it's recolored but it's just a way to take something that we've already done and repurpose it. And this is one of my favorite quilts, obviously, because it is hanging here. So again, this is a pattern called Paris Flea Market Find, and we will um, recolor it. So, and it's a pretty easy pattern. The next collection is called Union Square, designed by Minnick and Simpson. And this is a great uh, photo showing the range of colors in it. There will be a fairy crossing, light and dark version by Minnick and Simpson, Christmas past, and Freesia designed by It's So Emma. So we will have an It's So Emma kit and pattern that's 62 by 76, and it really shows off the great low volumes and the strong colors. So this um, is red, white, blue, and then it's got green and yellow. And I'm going to show you the group and then show you some things you can do if you want to mix and match with previous Minnick and Simpson. So this has definitely got some olive green to it. I love this one. I think this is a great print. And they usually have a paisley, a dot. So very similar to um, previous collections. This just has two more colors than normal. And I love this one. I'm not sure if that's like a pomegranate. It's really pretty. And this has a touch of pink to it. And this is a strong red. And then here are the blues. And if you're looking to make a patriotic quilt, this is always the designer that I use. And if you want to make a patriotic and mix and match, you can do that and just take the yellows and greens out. And um, that's something I learned years ago. Don't be afraid. If you love a collection, take what you love, keep 80% of what you love, take the 20% out that you don't like. Now this next one, I know you guys are gonna be excited about. This is Beyond Bella by Annie Brady. There are 28 new colors and this ships in March. And I have been using the Beyond Bella White. And I think color 200 is what I've been using. And then this is now 182. So what you do is if you look at Bella 9900-182, this is the Beyond Bella version of that, which is 16740-182. So this one right here is color 99 Bella, just printed over with this design. 284 Bella, 170 Bella, 83 Bella, and 182. So these are the new colors of, of this. And on this, just to let you know, on anything that is a basic, when Moda comes out with the pre-cuts, there will be some pre-cuts with this. It's a one and done. So because they have them all at the mill at one time. I love this one. So um, there will be some pre-cuts, they will be limited. The next collection is really cute, it's called Delivered with Love. Sometimes I see these and I think, why are my kids so old? I wish there was these good fabrics when I was having kids. Ships in March, designer is paper and cloth, and this is a 36 by 44 inch panel. Here are some Wendy Shepherd patterns that we have as paper and PDF on our site. And here's the collection. 
so super cute it's kind of got like elephants kind of a circus theme without circus colors it's kind of the way I think of it these are stars bunnies envelopes bees balloons kind of like birthday party ish I guess you could do this as a birthday party so that is definitely peach this is also great for uh, the people who don't find out the sex before birth or who do like a um, unisex color nursery so cute oh my gosh I love it so cute look at the little bunny so cute these would make cute uh, really cute nursery pillows and I like this blue because it's kind of a unique blue but love the color palette on this. I love it. I just, I love everything about it. And the panel, like I said, is pretty big. And it is one of those panels that you lay your baby on. Let's see. Like here, you would lay your baby and then you would put like a little circle or something for like uh, 10 weeks, 10 days, 10 months, that kind of thing. Super cute. Or you could just put your baby on it and then make these individual little um, things that you put on the thing. My kids missed out on all of that. And then Pips is the newest collection by Anila Hui. She is a designer from England. This will ship in April. And I would say it kind of mixes well with that last collection. There are some really strong colors in this. This is kind of a, this is the same print as this. It's kind of a wood grain. Really cute, the little girls and boys on the little cycles. This is a check, a dot, puppies. And the dot is actually little tiny squares instead of circles. So I guess it's technically squares, not dots. So you've got kind of your lime, peach. Here you've got purples, oranges, and grays. So again, all of these collections have so many different colors. And then you've got burnt orange, olive, and then that same type of blue that I just showed. And this one ships in April. So that is Pips by Anila Hui. And then the next catalog that you can look at is on the Moda website. It's the Ruby Star Fall 2022 Collections. And I'm going to show you the collections. So we've got Little by Kimberly Kite, very 1970s. It's like cute little ribbons. Love this. And those are little flowers. So you've got blues. Oranges and yellows kind of a gold I would say but very every time I see her collections I think of my childhood definitely this is like the color of my kitchen when I was young sometimes I want to knock on that door and be like um please tell me y'all took that wallpaper down because when I moved out in the 1990s that orange wallpaper was still up and then this is kind of a pinkish purple this one ships in May she's always got like some apples and that cute ribbon and then this is that little flower that's a great background. I'm going to have to get some of that. So that's Little by Kimberly Kite. The next collection is Reading Nook by Sarah Watts, April Delivery. So you've got kitties. This is a flower. This is definitely cream. Books, flowers, squirrels, keys, like key locks, and then teas. And this is really pretty, this pink. Thank you. 
And then we've got some purples and blues. It's like a lavender. The cats will obviously be the best selling prints and then I think the tea packets would be second. Kevin and I do try to guess. And then we remember who's right and who's wrong. Because we're crazy like that. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I don't even like cats. I'm, well, I don't want to say I don't like cats. I'm scared of cats for some reason. When I was a kid, we had like a neighborhood overgrown with cats. So that's Reading Nook. Sunbeam by Rashida Coleman Hale. And this one is um, very gold rather than yellow. This is kind of an orange. And just a reminder, we do have a Ruby Star Club that you can join where you get a pattern, a spool of thread, and fat quarters every quarter. And the pattern is always really fun and modern. These are like the little women and they like little sunglasses. Now this right here is this print. Uh, cream. Fun. And then this one's very vintage, very uh, muted. And this has like gray, beige, and cream. And then this is um, doves and clouds. And this one also ships in May. So all of the Ruby Star ships in May. So there are three collections this time. And there's the little tiger and the women. And then the last thing that they presented was a patchwork panel. So for every patchwork panel sold, Ruby Star Society will give $5 towards the Jed Foundation, an organization serving to protect mental health and prevent suicide in teens and young adults in the United States. And they will have some projects showing how to use these and they're really cute. They're little squares. Um, I'm going to measure and see what size they are. They're eight and a half inches square. And then each of the designers is listed. So you've got Rashida, Kimberly, Alexia, Sarah, and Melody. So you could either leave their names on or off. And it's kind of a mix. Like you can see, this is from the Kimberly collection. This is from the Rashida collection. And then obviously the cat from that collection. So that is all of Ruby Star. Now I'm going to move to Riley Blake. And so Riley Blake, they present all of their fabrics on storyboards. So when I just showed you from Moda and Ruby Star are called cap sets, that's fabric that you look at. Riley Blake presents theirs on storyboards. So I'm gonna show them to you. This is the hometown collection by Lori Holt. What you see on the cover will be the Hometown Sew Along that finishes at 75 by 84, and it uses all of Lori's applique. She will be hosting a sew along on her blog and her YouTube channel. I'm gonna show you, there's a lot of detail to this one. So this right here is the collection. All of this is the collection. We are pre-selling the pre-cuts. These are the backgrounds. And these two are similar to uh, previous ones where it's that pattern that's like the vintage pattern, vintage um, sewing patterns. She will be having a project box that you can store your blocks for that hometown sew along. She will be having 10 inch pre-cut interfacing, which is gonna be so crazy because this is gonna be great for the applique and it's gonna be great for my scrappy strings quilt. So this is 100 squares of 10 inch, um, 100 10 inch squares. She will be having a 2024 calendar that will be based on the quilt. So I'm sure each of these will be a different month in the calendar. We will have quilt seeds. These are nine patterns. We will sell the patterns individually. They each make a six by nine inch block. So we will have nine patterns. Then we will also have a set of nine patterns, meaning you can buy all nine patterns at once. And we will also have individual block kits. And then on Lori's YouTube channel, she'll show you just like she did on Calico, 
and Prairie how to put them into a quilt setting. And there is Lori. So just as a summary, the um, Hometown Sew Along will use Hometown Sew Simple Shapes. They do not come in the quilt kit. They come separately. And um, she uses her sew-in interfacing, several of her rulers. These will be two additional kits. This top one is called Hometown Welcome, 74 by 88. It comes pre-packaged in this little box. And then this is the Friendship Star table topper that's 40 inches square. I definitely will be making this and buying this and it's coming in this cute box. So with this collection, just so you know, I will be sewing probably three quilts. For sure this one and then a um, ton of other stuff. I, I cannot wait. I love this collection. And this will be a panel that goes with the collection where it just says like made with love, handmade. And here is the information for all of what's included. Now, just so you guys know, um, anytime it says Fat Eighth, we give you a little bit more in our kits that we cut at Fat Quarter Shop. And um, this is kind of the detail of it. Another print from there is this big wedding print. It's going to be, it's shown as 24 by 40, but just so you know, we're going to sell it as running yardage. And so Lori is recommending this for backings of quilts. These will be three new 108 fabrics. I cannot wait because I love these two. She will have four new charms. She will have new playing cards. She had some playing cards that sold out. I, I didn't know how they would sell and they sold out immediately. And so people have been wanting more. So these are new ones. And she's going to have a new uh, tin mug with a little pink house. And then she's going to have design boards, washi tape, and a new hometown beekeeper binder. So this will definitely be my favorite out of all of it. I will sew a ton of stuff with it. I'm going to show you the fabric one more time. Um, just so you can see the colors. And it's harder to see from here, but she's got all the colors, you know, reds. She's got her heirloom sea glass, tea rose, lettuce, denim. She's got daisy, teal. So, and then this is her schoolhouse red. And tea rose, dark alpine. So really pretty, I can't wait to see this. And then our second group I'm gonna show you today is Shades of Autumn by My Mind's Eye. Ships in July. And here is the collection. Um, so this one is definitely autumn and really pretty. Loving this and the plaid. I love the feel of this. And I love anytime um, autumn comes with some aqua in it. So loving this one. The next collection is Falls in Town by Sandy Gervais. So this one, Sandy Gervais used to design fabric for Moda, and now she designs with Riley Blake. This one does have a pre-packaged kit called Feels Like Fall Quilt Kit, and really pretty colors, really rich, um, and I'll show you some of the other patterns. This is the kit we talked about. This will be a pattern, Fields of France, and this is her panel. It is 36 inches by 43, and that is so cute. And she also has a pumpkin parade runner and enormous pattern. So she's gonna have a lot of patterns that go with this collection. The next collection is also by Sandy Gervais. It's called Arrival of Winter. And this one, it's got mint, it's minty. The blue is, uh, I don't know how to describe it, but it's not the traditional blue and it's got a really pretty autumn color and a pink, which of course I love. And these are, it's kind of got, it's a winter group, um, ice skates. Now in here, she has three 108s, two panels. Both panels are 36 by 44. She's got a lot of um, patterns. So this is Arrival of Winter Panel Mat and Runner. 
All Things Winter, Snow Crystals, Balls of Jolly, and then Frosty Wall Hanging. This will be a prepackaged kit from Riley Blake that finishes at 27 by 49, and that is all piecing. I think it's really cute. I would want to make it, but I would want to make it with more pink. I would somehow figure out a way to add some pink in there. So that is Arrival of Winter by Sandy Gervais. The next group is more of a spring group. It's called Day in the Life by Echo Park. Ships in July. And this one has a really pretty navy blue, aqua, and pink. So as you look at these groups with all, all designers, there's a touch of pink, a lot of aqua, and a lot of navy. And it does have a tiny tinge of yellow. So that is A Day in the Life. This next one is not so much a collection as it is four panels. It's called A Nostalgic Christmas. They will ship in July. So they are all one yard panels. So we've got Santa, Santa and Frosty, Frosty, and then you've got a truck and this is gonna be really popular. That one's gonna be the best popular. The next group is called Silent Night by Jennifer Long. It is a May delivery and it is a manger design and it's got creams, browns, reds, blues, greens. Really, really, this is gonna be very popular. And this one has something that we've never had before. It has a felt panel. The panel is um, 36 by 69 and it's to make a, uh, the little nativity set and it's like a little book and you put your little people in really cute and there will be some new patterns by jennifer long the greatest gift silent night follow the star no room at the end and these are just the same prints just bigger so that is silent night by jennifer long may delivery Now this is another collection by Sandy Gervais, but we separated it because the other one was fall and winter, and then this one is summer, but it's so bright, I wanted to separate it. So this one is just bright and fun and funky and 1960s-ish. With this one, there is going to be another one yard panel in one color. There will be different patterns, summer at Grammys, in a fruit jar. Now this one we decided to kit and it does come in a pre-packaged kit. So they're little jars with fruit and that finishes at 19 by 44. And then there will be um, on the run and twist and turn patterns also. And then these are just the same prints that are over here, just in bigger. The next collection is called Farmhouse Summer by Echo Park. Ships in June. And I love this one. It's kind of got that little barn, barn wood. And we're considering this one for the So Sampler box, just as like a little hint, but really cute. Love the colors. And I think it's gonna come out really nice with this gold. It's gonna be really nice. Sorry, I'm trying not to drop them and it's really hard. This next collection is called White as Snow by Janet Wecker Frisch. And her collections always have a lot going on. There's just a lot. So this is one of her panels that's 23 by 36 and it's really cute, it's about soap. This one is going to be a panel. This is kind of the scale, but it's 23 by 36. So two panels, prints. This will be a free pattern on Riley Blake. So you got that. This is going to be a booklet that we sell. It's called Wintry Project and I think these must be applique. So this will be a booklet. And then here's another print, Snow Snowman. And I think that this one would be really good if it was 108. 
but it's not. It's 44. Another panel that's also 23. More prints. And she always has some basics. Anytime you're looking for great basics that have a touch of uh, vintage to them, she's got some great ones. Speaking of, so kind of a bigger group. And then this one's my uh, second favorite. I've already shown you my favorite. It was Lori's. This one is Holiday Cheer by My Mind's Eye. And I love this. This is like Kimberly Christmas. They should just call this Kimberly Christmas because this is how I would love my house to look at Christmas. Um, I don't think Kevin would love it with all the pink, but I love it. I just love the vintage -eeds. I love gingerbread men. I just love the colors, love the font, love the little Santas, love everything about it. So this is probably going to be my, I'm going to definitely do something with this. And also this one. This one is called Simply Country by Tasha Noel. And I always love Tasha Noel fabric. And last year I sewed with one of her collections, Quilt Fair, and doing a free Riley Blake sew along. So I'm hoping they have another sew along coming up that I can use this in because I just love, sometimes when you're working with a sew along, working with one color or two or three colors is a lot easier than working with 10. It's easier to color, but I just love all of the prints. There's also a blue collection out right now by Christopher Thompson from Riley Blake, and that's also really pretty. The next collection is called Make by Krista Lee, and she has had several collections before. One of them was called Dream. They always have the, um, rainbow-ish look. Um, this time they're scissors, sewing machines, two really cute um, like all over prints that would be great backings. And then right here are some basics, kind of some base. She always has like some motifs and then some basics. Lori Whitcock is the designer of The Magic of Christmas, ships in June. And these are so cute. They're little snowmen and little jars, great swirls, trees, and a great poinsettia. And of course, cute little um, candy canes and plaids. The next collection is called Twas by Jill Hall. Hallworth also ships in June and this one is very very vintage to me it looks 1950s 1960s it's got the Santas uh, the reindeer you know kind of like um, the night before Christmas really cute cute little Santa stripes um, mouse little um, stars really cute and cute little stripe the stripes so cute now this next designer I love, she's like the nicest person ever. Her name is Jerry Robinson, and this collection is called Heartfelt. And so sometimes she does collections where she mixes colors. Sometimes she does collections that are just one color. This one is just red and white with some pink, and um, her last one I believe was blue. This ships in June, and this is gonna be gorgeous once you see it on fabric. And it's got a great, the, the ratio of the colors is really well done. This was Kevin's favorite. This is Yuletide Forest by Catherine Linnaeus for Riley Blake Designs. And this one is more of, um, it's got like mushrooms, it's got the woodland, it's, it's got like the, the woodland look. So different, um, but really pretty. And I think this is gonna come out really nice. It's kind of a, I don't really know how to describe it. Oh, it's called Sage, so I guess it's Sage, but really pretty. And then this one is gonna be a hit. This will probably be the best selling um, behind Lori's. This is Kringle by Teresa Kogut. There will be a panel that I'm gonna show you in a second and a panel quilt kit that's 54 by 67. It's a pre-packaged kit from Riley Blake. Now this one, she is a cross-stitch designer and she draws and she has a YouTube channel and she has um, some different videos where she shows painting. She's a painter and this is gonna be so popular. It's got the, the text, the snowman, the reindeer, the Christmas, the Santa. It's got everything, stripes. I mean, this is gonna be so popular. Now, this is the panel right here. 
It's 36 by 43, and this is the kit. So right here, you can see the panel right here, and then these are pieced trees. This is applique. This right here is just this yardage cut, and then at the bottom is like a four patches across, and it's gonna come in this cute box by Teresa Kogut. Again, Kringle by Teresa Kogut. And then the last one we bought from Riley Blake is called Live Love Glamp by Danny Mogstad. And this one is just kind of reminds me of Lori and her camping. Um, it's got the little van, the little camper, the flowers, really pretty. This one is a very, um, you know, when you look at this, you think Riley Blake. Super cute. Um, I just love the color. So that is Riley Blake and all of that ships next year. Now we're going to move to Free Spirit. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna show you from Free Spirit is Tula Pink's new collection. And um, it's a rather big collection of a couple of things. These animal prints right here, I'm gonna kind of stack. I'm gonna show it to you and then stack it and then explain it, because this is a couple of collections in one. I would encourage you to follow Tula Pink on Facebook. She always has fun videos and she gives lots of detail on her collections and I could never uh, give as much detail. So this collection is going to ship in April 2023. We are pre-selling it. You can buy it three different ways. You can always buy the Fat Quarter Bundles, Half Yards, and One Yard Bundles at Fat Quarter Shop, but we're selling them in three sections. The Mega Fauna Everglow are the animals. There's eight animals. The Neon Tula Pink True Colors are all of these prints right here. And then there will be a True Colors of all of the uh, Neon. No, sorry. The uh, Fairy Dust. There's going to be a Fairy Dust, uh, new Fairy Dust, and new Fairy Dust pre-cut. So three different ways you can buy the Fairy Dust, the Megafauna Everglow, or the Neon Tulip Pink's True Color. And um, there is going to be a kit that we're pre-selling. It's called Star Cluster. It's 75 inches by 75 inches. It is, um, I would say, the piecing of the blocks is more intermediate, but the piecing it together on point would be a little bit harder. So I would say this is an experienced quilt. The next quilt everyone is raging about is called Queen of Diamonds. It is a block of the month that's 60 by 73. It is pre-sold and um, Free Spirit is pre-packaging that where it ships um, each quarter, I believe. And this one is a very um, hard quilt, but it is selling like it's selling like crazy. It is very expensive because it has like 80, 80 different fabrics in it or something like that. I think it's 85 fabrics. Now with this one, you will need the quilt kit. You will also need the paper pieces and you will also need the paper piecing templates. So um, there is that. Now I'm going to show you, let's see. These are some new quilt backs. So she's got um, two new true colors, two new rainbow hexes, and two new white on whites that are gonna be 108s. There will also be a combination, like I said, of the um, fairy dust. So that is Tula Pink. The next collection is called Brave by Anna Maria, and I'm gonna show you that, and then I'm gonna show you, she's got another collection on this board that I'm gonna show you in a second. So these are right here are called Brave, ships in May. These are really big, sorry. Okay, so this is Brave right here. Now, She had a collection two years ago or a year ago called Love Always. This one is now Love Always AM. These, this is a collection and this will ship in May.
K Facet has a couple of new 108s. So I think there's eight. And then K Facet Classics. Now on this one, you can look on our website. We pre-sell this in fat quarter bundles, design rolls, and strips. Um, we can't show you those cards because they have pricing on them. Um, but it is all on the Fat Quarter Shop website. And we do buy all of his fabrics by the yard and by all of the pre-cuts. And this is actual fabric. So this is the real color you're going to get. And this one for sure has a range of colors. And I think this one, I think it has like 65 SKUs. They usually have 60, 60, 70. One time there was 82 SKUs that almost broke the bank. 66 SKUs. Oh my word. A lot of SKUs. And he does a great job of breaking them down by colorways. I just can't show you on the video because it does have all the pricing on it. Oh, this is so pretty. And I wish that, um, I wish it wasn't glued down so we could sew it into something. Now we do have a cave club that comes out quarterly and this is really pretty. So that is the cave collection. Now we're going to show you Snow Leopard Design Temple Garden. And this is just one card. And this one is actually on paper, so this is not actual fabric. So the color might be slightly different. This one ships in June and it has 12 SKUs. I would say you could mix and match it with CAVE. There are a couple of Tim Holtz collections now. Tim Holtz actually sells better for us than CAFE, which might come as a surprise, and I think that's a surprise to, that's different than other quilt shops. Um, this one is called Eclectic Elements Frightful, ships in May, and it is the entire collection including these. These are a mix of provisions, alchemy, and cracked shadow. And, um, just so you guys know, this is very expensive fabric. All of the K, all of the Free Spirit has a minimum um, policy that we have to sign and we have to sell it at a minimum price. So I know it's expensive, but for us to be able to sell it, we have to follow the rules of Free Spirit. The next one is called Eclectic Element Substrates. No, the next one is Eclectic Elements 108, sorry. And there are four new 108s and we carry we, anything that Tim Holtz has that's still being printed, we carry all of it. The next one is Wonderland. And this one, there was one this year called Christmas Time, I believe, and it was sold like crazy. This one is 10 SKUs. So very simple, um, but this will sell like crazy. And then the last collection we purchased from Free Spirit is called Storybook Halloween by Rachel Hauer. And this one has kitties and ghosts and skulls and kitty cats. So that is the Free Spirit that we purchased. Now we're gonna move to Marcus Brothers. So Marcus Brothers has a brand new collection called Vintage Charm by Judy Rothermel. And there is a brand new block of the month called Vintage Sampler Block of the Month. It ships from May 2023 to January 2024. It is designed by Nancy Rink called Vintage Sampler Block of the Month. It is all piecing. And we are also pre-selling this as a fat quarter bundle and a half yard bundle. And this collection called Vintage Charm celebrates 35 years of Judy Rothermel designing for Marcus fabric. So that is super awesome. And then we've got a couple more manufacturers. First, we have Andover. Sea Breeze is a new collection by Laundry Basket Quilts. Now on this, we don't get, all we get is a PDF and an email to order from. So this is what we have. Seabreeze is going to be a basic collection. 
ships in February by Laundry Basket Quilts. I did a sitar. We are pre-selling it. And then the next one ships April is called Green Thumb. And I've mentioned this one in a couple of live streams because I think it's going to be really pretty to have some greens to add with Aditya's traditional blues and reds. So that is Andover. Now I'm going to show you Henry Glass. We carried the first linen closet. Now we're going to have linen closet three by uh, Janet Ray Nesbitt and um, the ships in April. So this is a uh, very classic, uh, similar to buttercream and butter. Um, there's a there's a collection that I'm always uh, 2000 uh, butter something that we sell. The next collection is Willow Hollow by Kim Deal. And you can pre-buy this at Fat Quarter Shop. We're pre-selling the Fat Quarter Bundle and the Half Yard Bundle. And to me, this, um, it's kind of got a vintage aqua blue. It's got a tint of, it's definitely more blue than green. But this is paper, not fabric, just so you can, just so you know. We also bought Holiday Spirit by Jan Shade Beach. She actually is their best-selling Christmas designer for us at Fat Quarter Shop. Now on this one, I believe we bought this panel, but not this one. Sometimes we pick and choose. And it's got horses and vintage trucks, plaids. And then the last one we bought is Bundle Up by Barbara, Barbara Tortolette. And this one, same thing. We bought this panel, not this one. So we tend to do that because if you have too many panels, it just gets too expensive. And then Studio E is the same company as Free Spirit and Henry Glass. This is Vintage Whisper from Santa by Lucy Cravato and loved this panel love 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 this and it's just it's very 70s um the only thing i think this would be hard to use this is the only part um and this was actually my grandfather's name noel um this is the only one that i wasn't sure how you would use it but i love this part of it and then we always get one or two Hanukkah groups. This is Love and Light by Victoria Borges for Studio E. So it's five pieces. And um, these are not part of the collection. And then Free Spirit, the people who own Free Spirit also own Blank. This is Harvest Classics by Anna Bailey. And um, this one, we bought everything but the panel. We did not buy the panel. Um, I just, I really like the colors on this. But I didn't buy the panel because I just didn't really like the shapes of it. So, and then Farm Country. This is Laura Condic, Condic and um, love the vintage feel of this. Same thing, bought this panel, did not buy this one. So thank you so much for joining me today to view the new Moda, Free Spirit, Henry Glass, Riley Blake, Studio E, all the manufacturers. Um, and we're going to do a couple of these videos a year just to kind of show you what we do is as the sales reps come, if they have anything left over to keep, I keep it and then I show it to you. So um, that's what you can look forward to for 2023. And just remember at Fat Quarter Shop, you can always go to the Coming Soon page, uh, click if you're interested in a collection or pre-buy stuff. Um, we totally appreciate your business. Uh, love that you shop with us. Um, make sure you email us anytime you need anything and um, I look forward to seeing you on the next video.